Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Hello. So, from the title, I'm sure that you know that we are now having another baby. I'm sure you guys are wondering if we plan this baby, and no, we did not plan this baby. No. It was pretty unexpected to say the least. We found out basically like the beginning of April, I think it was April 5th. And that whole day, I didn't feel weird, I didn't feel off, anything like that. We went shopping, we tried crumble. We came home and everything was fine. We had dinner with my mom, I think. She came over and she made like some soup. Oh yeah, that was. And then Jason's mom came over. The weird thing is, she was, I don't know where, Brooke wasn't there, but I don't know where she said to me, Brooke isn't pregnant, right? I was like, no, why would you say that? And she was like, I don't know, I just had a gut feeling. And then like a few hours later, Brooke took the test just, yeah. just for fun. And she didn't even know that my mom said that yet. Yeah, so I had no idea his mom said that. And I was just like, you know, I'm going to take a test for fun. Like, why not? And so then I took one of those, like, cheap ones that you can get, like, I think off Amazon. I don't think you can get them in the actual store. But they're, like, these little, like, they're, like, this long. And they just have, like, HUG, like, red lines. I can insert a picture of them I like, took. It looks like the pH strips to test water. I'll show you guys videos of my reaction. Um, I took them, like, on my phone. So they're just, like, long, not this way. Yeah. And, um... I might just put it on the screen next to me here. But basically, so I went to take the test and I didn't want to look at it, but I didn't think I was pregnant at all. I was just like obviously nervous to look at it because it could have had two lines and like whatever. So I was like, I don't know, I'm just gonna look at it. And then I finally looked at it and my jaw dropped because I was like, <laughs> yeah, what? I, see it. I was like, what do you mean? Like literally that those lines were so freaking like positive, right? So after like my reaction or whatever, the video I took, I ended the video and I just went over to my bathroom sink and I looked at myself in the mirror for a second and I was like, what? And she came in the room. I was trying to put Laura to bed and she was like crying. I was like, no way. <laughs> <laughs> That's literally all I said. I was like, what? Yeah. I It was like 9.30 at night, literally. Like yeah. it was pretty late. So I was just like, what? Like I took my makeup off. I looked ugly. I was in my freaking pajama clothes. <laughs> That's all she cares about. Jason wasn't even like in the room with me because I was like, no, it's not going to be obviously like, yeah, like I was like, it's not going to be positive, but it was. If I thought like I was actually pregnant or like whatever, if I had a feeling, then he'd be in the room with me. And it was kind of funny because I made a TikTok saying how like when I found out I was pregnant with my daughter, that I knew I was pregnant just because of like I felt pregnant, but like I literally didn't feel pregnant. So I kind of like jinxed myself, I guess, or something. After that, me and Jason talked, we put, Alora actually said to me, it's okay, mommy. Yeah, she was, or like, oh, she's no, like, don't cry. cry. And I was like, oh, Laura. And then Alora went in her bed and Jason and I were in here on our bed and I was crying because I was just like, like what? Because obviously we didn't expect this so soon. Nah. Our plan was to be moved out and then like a few months later then try to have another baby, not like yeah. be still move, like in here. But we're going to move out before the baby's born. Our plan was to always be moved by like September, October and the baby's going to be due in the beginning of December, which I, yeah. have, which I actually have a feeling it's going to be born in November. We came in, I came back in the room, we put a Lord to bed and then I was just on the bed crying because I was like, what? And then... Um, we texted your mom. Yeah, we, I texted my mom, and I wish I had the text. I think they're on my iPad or definitely my laptop because I got a new phone since then. But I texted her, and I was like, I think I'm pregnant. And she was like, why? And I was like, well, I took a test and it said I was pregnant. <laughs> and then she's like, okay. She like, didn't even really care. She wasn't mad or anything. She did not care, but she was just like, well, you already have another. You already have one baby, so yeah, what's like understood. another? You know what I mean? And obviously, we've been together for about four years so yeah. it's not like crazy like when when i got pregnant with Alora, we weren't even dating for a year we were dating for like 11 months after i texted my mom that then like i went to bed whatever we were fine i went on my phone i downloaded what to expect again because i had that with Alora, yeah. and like i put in like you're supposed to spend the day of your last period whatever so then gave me my due date and i was like oh my gosh we're having a december baby like that's so fun i didn't even think yeah. about like when i would be due like there's just so many things going on in my head so um yeah, we only told my mom. We didn't tell. Oh, we didn't tell anyone else until like a week later. We told my little brother Carter. He came yeah. over. No, he, we told him like the next day. I think. No, it was a few days later. I think. Yeah, and then um. He came over, and I was like, "I have to tell you something," or we were like, "We have to tell you something," and he was like, "What?" And I was like, "Did I say I'm pregnant? Or I'm having another baby. I don't remember." I uh, guess what, and then he was like. He was just guessing random stuff, and then I think he said it. I think so, too. And we were like, And then yeah. he was like, no, nah, I don't believe you. And he's like, where's the camera? Like, you're lying. And I was <laughs> like, no, like, we're so for real. And then we, we showed him a test. Him. 
I forgot to mention that the next day after I found out I was pregnant with a like little thingy. Oh, also that same night I took like five more. Oh my god. I'm going all over the place, but you you get the point. <laughs> I took like five more, and then I was like, at first they weren't showing up. I was pregnant, and I was like, what the heck? Was well, just like hysterical crying, like for no reason. I'm not even really pregnant. Yeah. But I was. They were all positive. But um, the next day after we found out, we went to the store and we got a bunch more. Like real tests. And I took them all. Like I literally took them all within a week after we got them. I don't know why she took so many. Like, I don't know. She was I took like 10 in total. It was, I don't know. I was just like, why not? I just still want to make sure. But yeah, we told my brother. And then, so right. I was probably like five weeks pregnant or something. And then we didn't tell anyone else. But like, obviously I knew I was pregnant, whatever. I think it was like... The week after that, we, I, my mom told my aunt, my aunt Jen, I didn't care that she knew because like, yeah. it's my aunt, whatever. But we didn't tell any of Jason's family. I didn't tell like my dad, my other siblings. And um, then like, it was like a month later and um, she had her first ultrasound. Mm -hmm. And we were just checking to make sure everything was all right. And then we told my family. Ultrasound, because obviously I wanted to like make sure everything was fine and nothing was wrong with the baby before I actually like told my family. I think most people do that anyway. Really scared to go. Jason was like not scared at all. No, I wasn't. I don't know why you were scared. Because <laughs> like it's, I don't know. It like freaks me out. Because I feel like every time that I've ever had an ultrasound, I would always be like scared. Like they'll tell you some bad news. And you're like, oh my gosh. Mm. But so we went and as soon as I saw the baby on the screen, I was like, oh my I was like so scared and I can also insert a picture of the ultrasound. We have it, but it's like taped, so I don't want to take it off because I don't want it to rip. But so we went, there were, we had the ultrasound, the heart rate was, what was it, like 178? 176. Yeah, it was good and she was like, okay, the baby looks good, whatever. And She's then, actually, or the baby's actually measuring a head. Yeah, time. the baby's measuring a week ahead and um, she then went to talk to the doctor, whatever, everything was fine. And then, like Jason said, that's the same day that we decided to tell, like, everyone. We sent a picture to my dad, sister, and mom, and my sister's boyfriend, a picture of a Laura wearing a shirt that said Big Sister. And my dad instantly called me, he was like, is this real? <laughs> and, my, and my sister was like, alright, how'd you Photoshop it? And nobody we, believed Because we sent this. his sister a picture of the ultrasound, not a picture of Laura with the shirt on. We sent both. Oh. Yeah. But the ultrasound first because she was like, how'd you Photoshop the date on it? Oh, and then my mom called me and she was like, I hope it's a boy. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I told her that she like pretty much predicted it. She was like, yeah, I'm an Aries. Wait, is she an Aries? No, she's a Pisces. Oh, she was like, yeah, I'm a Pisces. You'll, you'll get to know that. I was like, all right. What and the then... hell? <laughs> I talked about when I found out I was pregnant with Alora on here, my first daughter. And my family's reactions were absolutely like horrific <laughs> and so like the main person who had a horrible reaction was my dad and like obviously i lived with my parents at the time and so it was just really bad when i told him about allura and so i was super like scared i was more scared than her to tell him about this baby just because obviously when i moved in with jason he was like i just hope that you're not moving in and then like you're gonna get pregnant like really soon and obviously we've been living together for almost a year now yeah so i guess it's not like soon i don't know but um so something I was scared because he was like, I don't want you to get pregnant soon. Like, I'd rather you be married and get pregnant, which is, like, un understandable. But I was just super scared to tell him because, obviously, the way he reacted. So I texted him. I think I had the text on this phone. But I texted him, and I was like, I just want to let you know that Jason and I are going to be having another baby, and the baby's due in December. And he basically just said, like, congratulations, and that he's here if we need anything yeah and i was like oh my god because i was literally freaking out i was freaking out my mom was here i was like oh my god he's gonna freak out i i like, didn't think he was gonna be mad then like when i actually texted him i'm like he's gonna be so mad but he was fine and then she was like are you mad and then he was just like no yeah he wasn't mad at all and like i'm a person who gets like after people know i'm pregnant it like just it grosses me out a little that they know that i'm pregnant because they know what i did to get pregnant <laughs> She always says that. So like when I had to see my dad for the first time in real life, I was like, hi. I said my grandma and I told her she was fine, whatever about it. Yeah. Then she told like my aunt and my uncle knew. So that part was fine. And then um, went to my grandma's and we like were just talking about it. And she was like, you guys have been together for a while. And like you're actually in a committed relationship and you yeah, already have a daughter. Very understanding. Yeah. So she was like. It's fine, whatever. We like you're pregnant, you're gonna have another baby, and like it's gonna be fine. Yeah. So I was really happy that my family wasn't 
mad freaking out again obviously when i was pregnant with my first child it was like completely different circumstances but i was just happy that nobody was like mad freaking out <laughs> yeah it, it's going pretty smooth and like my mom's sister found out and everything like that so both my parents sides were perfectly fine finding out i don't really know how many people in jason's family like parent side to know what not i did tell jason's cousin i was pregnant yeah. because on my instagram they have like this little bubble thingy like when your followers people you follow and like that they follow you i think can see it and i would say like i have a surprise them. or i have a yeah. secret or like this december's gonna be fun and like people would ask me like are you pregnant are you pregnant i was like no <laughs> like what do you mean just because obviously i wasn't gonna like tell a bunch of people before announcing so oh and i told my friend when we first found out he oh, was yeah, like i don't yeah. believe you <laughs> he was like uh it better be a boy yeah everyone wants to have a boy just because allura's a girl obviously yeah i don't really care i think that it'd be fun for allura to have a sister because i never had a sister and like i'd yeah. love to see how that just like works out and then obviously a boy would also be fun because it's something different yeah, we never had one. and we never had a boy obviously but after this baby i want one more baby probably about the same um like distance age. yeah because allura and this baby will be about three years almost apart this yeah. baby will be born just like three months before her third birthday yeah so we literally got pregnant like in march <laughs> and so now which is kind of fun is that i'll be pregnant every single month like out of the whole year because with allura i was pregnant july till my like, march and i would have been pregnant march to december so like obviously yeah. like every single month out of the year which is cool <sighs> but yeah I'm about to be out of my first, first trimester, trimester. Mm -hmm. which is fun. Um, actually, yesterday we went. I uh, just wanted to get another ultrasound just to make sure obviously the baby's fine because our first ultrasound was like two and a half weeks ago or something like that. So I just want to make sure everything was fine with the baby. I went to this private ultrasound place, which is so fun. I didn't even know I had one near me until I looked it up. Yeah. And when we went there, um, like the girl is ultrasound tech in a real hospital and so she has like this cute little stuff at her house which is so cool and my mom came with me we made it later in the day just because my mom works so i was like mom i want you to come it'd be so fun yeah. and when we went literally she was showing us the baby in 3d which i've I seen know. i've, I've seen allura seen oh you never seen it in 3d no i've seen allura in 3d but i was like 30 weeks pregnant so obviously she was like her face from and everything yeah. so because this baby is still like obviously yeah. earlier yeah. um it was just so cool because i just never seen a baby like that early in 3d and she sent us videos and like it was moving and everything it was just so freaking cool yeah. and i'm definitely going back because <laughs> that was like such a fun thing to do i'm so excited because i've always wanted to be pregnant during the summertime like i've always said jason i want to be pregnant during the summer i want to wear cute summer dresses like it'll be so fun and i'm actually gonna be pregnant during the summertime the only like downside of it to me is that i can't do like anything <laughs> can't go to fairs yeah can't go on roller coasters. i can't go on like water slides water rides anything like that which i totally didn't think of like but it's fine i'm excited yeah. brooke's excited we're really excited i'm actually excited i'm super excited to actually have a baby shower i think yeah. i'm gonna have a baby shower in october just because like if i'm doing the beginning of december like october's fine to me and with allura it was during covid and stuff. yeah it was with, it was during covid so we had it like outside we had like a drive-by thing and like it was freezing outside because it was in oh february and there was snow everywhere what so a now terrible idea. <laughs> so now obviously like i'll have inside and it'll be just so fun i'm so excited and then i'm even like super excited when we get an apartment because around the time of baby shower we'll probably like be hopefully like in one or not in one like soon or something like that yeah and um so i'm really excited to have like a nursery because i didn't have that with allura oh yeah and it's gonna be so fun so it's a completely different experience for both of us yeah i was i, I didn't really get to experience it last time because we were young and there yeah. was issues yeah jason like barely saw when i was pregnant so this time obviously he's been like living with me yeah and she so she makes me do everything no that's not even true i just make him give me food a lot the main thing different like with this pregnancy versus laura's is that i'm not sick like at all like when i wake up i feel sick just because i'm hungry and thirsty and then certain smells make me disgusted yeah. but i'm not throwing up i haven't thrown up yet with Alora, i was throwing up at like eight weeks i was nauseous all day every day until i was almost 20 weeks pregnant and i already obviously passed eight weeks so like it's just completely new and i'm really hoping i don't throw up because i'm scared yeah, she hasn't thrown up yet. So Thank God, though, because I threw up out of my nose. Ugh, stop. They don't need to know that. 
Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video of us announcing we were pregnant. Leave what you guys think in the comments what the baby is, a boy or a girl. And also ask us a bunch of questions because we're going to do a little Q&A on the pregnancy. Um, definitely a few days after this video is up. Yeah. And... Um, obviously in June we're going to have a bunch of videos, but we're, we're going to know the gender by then. We're going to find out the gender actually two weeks. Yeah, I'm excited. So, we're going to know the gender by then. We can do a bunch of fun videos, and yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everyone. Bye, everyone.